Hey there and welcome back to my channel. This is Elizabeth with Ellie's Handcrafted Jewelry and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these three weave patterns. We'll start with a version of the diamond weave, work our way to an inverted pyramid weave, and then finish off with a version of the flame weave. Now just a quick note, some of these patterns go by different names so it is difficult for me to name each of these, but feel free to leave a comment below if you know the names of these weaves. But before we get started, I'd like to thank Cast Dance for sponsoring this video. Kaz Dance is a gem seller located in the United States and has a variety of high quality stones. Search by gemstone, shape, size, quality, and more to find the perfect stone for your project. I've left a link in the description below to their website as well as their Facebook page so that you can stay up to date on any new arrivals or sales. And I'd also like to tell you about my new website where you can sign up for a monthly newsletter detailing new tutorials, videos, and any upcoming projects. You can also find some written tutorials for sale if you prefer working at your own pace, and it helps me to continue creating free tutorials for all of you. I've left the links in the description below, and thank you so much for taking the time to support this channel. Now, let's jump into the tutorial. Now let's get started uh, with the first weave. We're going to be doing the diamond weave or a version of it. And to get started, you can see I've wrapped three times around the second to last base wire. And then from there, I'm going to wrap my weaving wire around the two middle base wires. Then bringing my wire back in between those two bottom width base wires, wrap around those two middle base wires again. And then I'm going to bring my weaving wire in between those two base wires that I had just woven together, bringing it up over the top two base wires one time, and then back underneath the bottom two base wires, and then back in between those two base wires in the center. I'm just going to wrap those base wires in the center again two times, just like before. Then bringing that wire in between those two base wires to bring up over the top two base wires one time. And then bringing it back around the bottom two base wires again. And you just complete that. Um, you just continue weaving just like that. And that is a version of the diamond weave pattern. And just one more time for you. We're wrapping around the two middle base wires two times. Then bringing our weaving wire in between those two base wires. Then up and over the top two base wires. Back down underneath and around the bottom two base wires. Now next we have a version of the pyramid weave or a zigzag weave. And I started by wrapping around the bottom base wire three times. And then I'm going to wrap around the bottom two base wires one time. And then I'm going to wrap around the bottom three base wires one time. And then again, wrapping around the, all, well, all of the base wires at this point. And then back around underneath. You can see this is half of the pyramid. And then wrapping around the bottom three base wires again as we descend. Then wrapping around the bottom two base wires one time. And then again, wrapping around the bottom base wire one time. Now at this point I'm grabbing my flat nose pliers, scrunching down the wire, and I'm going to go ahead and compress it a little bit just so it has a little bit more volume. And from here I'm going to take the wire and now we're just going to bring it and direct it up over the top and then around the top base wire one time, then down around the top two base wires one time, then over and around the top three base wires one time, then again over all of the base wires, reaching the top of our little pyramid here, then wrapping it around the top three base wires, and then wrapping around the top three base or two base wires. And then wrapping again around the top base wire. So now we have two triangles, but they're facing opposite directions. Just like so. And we're going to start again by wrapping around the bottom base wire. 
then around the bottom two base wires, around the bottom three base wires, and then around all of the base wires, reaching the top of our pyramid again, then around the bottom three base wires, around the bottom two base wires, and finally around the bottom base wire. And again, I'm grabbing my flat nose pliers and compressing my wire and making sure it's scrunched down. And then I'm gonna direct that right back over the top to create the other facing pyramid here. And then around the top two base wires, around the top three base wires, and then around all of the base wires, reaching the top of our pyramid. Now we're going to ascend again, wrapping around the top three base wires, around the top two base wires, and again around the top base wire. And this is a version of the inverted pyramid weave. Now next we have a flame weave or something related to it. And I've started by wrapping the bottom base wire three times. Next, I'm going to wrap around the bottom two base wires one time and then bringing my weaving wire in between those two base wires. I'm then going to wrap around the middle two base wires carefully, just like so. And then I'm going to bring that back in between those two base wires I wove together, then around the top one time. And then I'm going to bring it and direct it in between the bottom two base wires, and then up and around the middle two base wires. Descending here, scrunching my wire as I go, and then wrapping around the bottom two base wires one time. And then from here, you can go ahead and wrap a couple times around the bottom. I'm going to wrap about three times before I move on to the next weave. But before I do that, I'm going to scrunch my wire down a little bit and then wrap around the bottom base wire a couple times before I start my next little flame. And now I'm going to wrap it around the bottom two base wires one time, bringing it in between those two base wires, then up and around the middle two base wires one time, then bringing it in between those two, those two base wires, then up and around the top two base wires one time, and then back down and around the middle two base wires, and then around the bottom two base wires one time. And then to finish off my little weave, I'm going to wrap three times on the bottom base wire. Now I'm wrapping around those bottom base wire a couple more times just to make sure there's some separation between my little flames. And then wrapping around the bottom two base wires one time. In between those two base wires, then up and around the middle two base wires. Then again in between those two base wires and finally up and around the top two base wires, bringing it back down in between those bottom two base wires, and up and around the middle two base wires, scrunching my wire down as I go, then wrapping around the bottom two base wires one time, and then again around the bottom base wires. And that is the flame weave. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you'd like to help support my channel, the easiest way to do that is to like the video and subscribe to my channel. You're also invited to join the Facebook group where you can ask questions and share all your work. I've left the links in the description below. And also a reminder to sign up for the newsletter if you want to stay up to date on the latest tutorials and tips. And until next time, happy weaving!